Okay, let's study work energy theorem. I'm going to state this theorem without any proof. And then we are going to verify this actually by considering individually some simple situations. The work theory energy theorem states that the net work done is equal to change in kinetic energy. Net work done meaning work done by all the forces. Work done by conservative force, work done by non-conservative force, work done by internal forces, work done by external forces, work done by all of them is change in kinetic energy. Okay? Okay. Now, let's start to understand this why it should be the way it is by considering a simple example. We have a block kept on the ground. We lifted this block to a height h. Now at this point the potential energy of this block we know it as mgh. Now we lifted the block very slowly so that there is no net amount of kinetic energy acquired by the block. There is no kinetic energy acquired by the block at all. So, to do that, we have to lift the block very slowly so that at any point of time, the net force on this block is zero. At any point of time, the forces acting on this block is the one by the earth and is the one by the person who is lifting this. So these two should be equal. So, the work done by the person would be force into displacement. Work done by the earth would be force into displacement. At any point of time, force is always equal to mg. So, this is also equal to mgh. But the thing is, the force applied by the person who is lifting it up is upwards and displacement is also upwards. So, work done by the person is positive. But the work done by the earth force by the earth is downwards and the displacement is upward. So, the dis work done by the earth is negative. So, work done by earth is minus mgh. Work done by the person is mgh. Net work done, work done by internal force which is con also conservative force because gravitational force is conservative. Work done by external force is zero. So, the um, kinetic energy acquired by the block is zero. So, the change in kinetic energy is zero. So, it the equation actually is telling the truth. Now, if we want the block to acquire some kinetic energy, obviously, we will have to apply a force which will be greater than mg. mg is acting downwards. If we apply the force F, which is equal and opposite to mg, then the force will be just balanced and we can just pick the block without giving this block any acceleration. But if you want the velocity to increase, there would has to be acceleration and there has to be net amount of force. So, if we increase the force, external force, then this extra amount of force that we apply, this amount of force will be balancing mg. The extra force will be the actually one which will give velocity to this block and that will actually turn out in a way, uh, turn out in giving the block its kinetic energy. So, if we increase the external force more than mg, then what would happen? Some amount of force will be used in generating kinetic energy in the system. So, again, if we revisit this equation, work done by external force will be actually positive and numerically more than work done by conservative force or the internal force. Now, Work done by the earth will still be negative and it will cancel certain amount of work done by the external force. But still, work done by the external force will be numerically more than work done by the earth. So, if you add the negative and positive, it still will be left with some positive part and that will give the kinetic energy to the block. That's how it works. And so, this should be now actually uh, very simple and very natural to you this equation this is how it should be now we'll we'll note one more thing here 
which we will use later in the next topic. The work done by conservative force which was earth here was minus mgh. This minus mgh is the work done by the earth. And the potential energy that was gained by this block was mgh. So I am giving you a relation which we will verify with one more instance but without any proof. The work done by conservative force is negative of the potential energy acquired. Work done by the conservative force here is minus mgh. Negative of that is mgh and that is the potential energy which is acquired by the block. Okay. Let's see one more situation in which we will see that this work energy theorem is actually true. 